What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with yet another Destiny video. Now please, please stop with the leaks. My body cannot take it. I mean, I'm fucking serious. Every time I sit down to chill out, I hear all this new good shit and I just have to make videos on it just for your guys' sake. Now at this point, it's pretty obvious that new info has dropped. This time, well, it's 100% official. So an image I covered in a video earlier which was taken from a teaser trailer from Bungie's Facebook page not long before they removed the trailer, uh, this was yesterday I believe, has now been released again. It shows as you can see on screen now Lord Saladin surrounded by wolves approaching a hole in the Cosmodrome wall. At the very last second of this footage from the cinematics in this trailer we see a few pairs of glowing red eyes but they are quite hard to make out. At first it was unclear what these were but further information has come out. Information from the Xbox store. Yes you heard that right. The official Xbox store gives us plenty of fresh new information on the rise of iron expansion basically everything you'd expect to learn of something from a place you'd buy it from and that's what we get so let's start with its release date it will be released on september 20th this year and it requires you to own the taken king expansion so what does this DLC include? Well, we get new story campaign and quests, new armor and gear, new weapons, a new raid, maximum light level increase, a new strike, a new plague land zone and a social space, new crucible maps and modes, and listen to this, a new enemy faction and bosses, epic. But fucking why has September gotta be so far away? But even more info we have on this, the description of this DLC reads Destiny Rise of Iron is the next highly anticipated expansion to the Destiny universe. The wall which stood for centuries along the southern border of old Russia has collapsed. Fallen mutants now scavenge the tombs of the Golden Age and the plague they have unearthed in the waste is more dangerous than even they understand. Join Lord Saladin, journey into the plague lands, learn the fate of the Iron Lords and stop the growing threat before it's too late. Now how fucking epic does that sound? So it states we join Saladin against this new threat of enemies, mutant fallen, like what the fuck, they sound awesome. We also get a new social space and a new place to explore, the plague lands new story and a new raid and a higher max light level and also new crucible mods hopefully private lobbies will be a part of it in my opinion this is all of what we so desperately need in these dry times of destiny shame it's months away though hopefully on the stream tomorrow night we learn of something to fill the gap also needed between now and the release of the rise of iron dlc expansion in september now something else i wanted to quickly pick up on many sources are stating that this expansion is next gen only although i can't confirm this i really doubt that is the case i mean i have seen a few pics saying that it's only on xbox one and ps4 but hey it's still early days and if they didn't drop this on old gen they would lose a massive chunk of the people who'd probably buy this and talking about price i think it's going to be around 50 dollars i don't think there's been a confirmed price yet but it's going to be there or thereabouts but guys that is it for another video and please can we now stop with the damn leaks tomorrow the stream comes and hopefully it lives up to its expectations but guys tell me your thoughts on what i've mentioned in the video thanks for stopping by as always and i'll catch you on that next one Get it right, left to die.